your first a gut reaction when you see and read about what has changed and what this decision is? Yeah, th this is a significant uh, decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, one of the more significant ones I can think of uh, in my lifetime, especially in places like Sacramento or California, that um, this decision at least appears that it would directly impact the rules and regulations that we have been used to. You know, we're in California, we are not used to people walking around with guns in public places. Uh, other locations in our country are used to that, but in my career, that has never happened. So how does this change enforcement then? Well, right now you can't walk around uh, with loaded firearms uh, out in public. You can have them in your home and, and at the gun range and, and those sort of things, but you can't walk around with uh, loaded firearms in public. And it would appear that this decision would directly impact those rules. And so I think we're still going to have to see how that plays out here, being a state that is not used to those uh, sort of activities of carrying firearms around, you know, uh, can you take them on school campuses now? Can you take them to public venues, parades, old Sacramento? Um, you, I, I would imagine you still can't take them into private uh, uh, property or locations that forbid it, like, you know, Golden One Center, if they don't allow you to carry guns and that's a private location, I would imagine that would still stand. So we'll have to see how it plays out. You know, the, I think the decision just came out this morning. So uh, are localities able to put further restrictions on it? We will see. Um, my concern is always how, what are the ramifications? It doesn't mean it's good or bad, but, you know, as I asked on social media today, people's opinion, um, do they think that will make us safer? You know, there's a segment of our society that believes good people with guns prevents violence. But I've also seen cases where that wasn't the case. Um, Gabby Gifford uh, was shot in Arizona when she was an elected official. There was multiple people with guns at that venue that didn't prevent that. Um, and we've seen recently in the last year or two during the COVID uh, pandemic that road rage incidents on the freeway have ended in people being shot. Um, so will more people carrying guns while they're upset about something, will they use them? I don't know. Uh, we see jurisdictions, whether in Texas and other states that allow open carry, um, many of their large cities seem to have a major problem with gun violence and they allow open carry. At the same time, locations like Chicago, who have really strict gun laws, also see a high level of gun violence and other violence. So, um, we will see how it plays out here in California. Will this change the way, in your opinion, that California law enforcement would be trained if it changes things here for our own laws? I think so, because uh, in my career, we've never had a time where people are walking around out in public with uh, firearms. And so uh, training will definitely have to change. Anytime there's a major uh, change in the law, um, uh, you will have change in training. Although we've seen even sheriffs, different sheriff's departments, our own sheriff's department here in Sacramento has become much more liberal than in historically with the issuing of concealed carry permits. Um, so maybe that was the middle ground of leading into this decision. Um, but absolutely, anytime you have a major change, and it will depend on what that means to California. This decision was regarding New York, but we have very similar laws um, or rules. So it, it will depend. We'll have to figure out how it, how it um, plays out in reality here in California. But absolutely, that there will be training that will need to go along with that.